When you see Bella and Zlanton, tell them I love the song. Hello, everyone. It's your favorite girl, Susan Tony. And yes, it's another time on Sisters Cafe. And today, what I want to tell you guys is just going to be simple. Most of you know this and most of you don't know it. And probably you, you know you're just ignorant about it. But I am here to tell you that self-respect or respect is inevitable when you place yourself well so i'm just going to be listing out 10 ways you can actually build a, a healthy self-respect for yourself number one never speak ill of anyone behind his back yes most people don't like this and when people discover you got this character you can never be respected it's as simple as that yes and down to number two on the list is learn to say no mm -hmm. learn to say no baba don't be an opportunist you know why because this is one of the most important thing that attracts self-respect to an individual i bet you don't know this well down to number three do more of the listening than talking a lot of you don't even swallow your speech before you even spit it out you just talk then you talk and then reason what you actually said if it was right or wrong and before then it has already caused a lot of harm than good so nigga sis try to listen more than you talk it's better you're gonna gain your respect trust me number four do not compare yourself with anyone trust me if you keep comparing your life with someone else's life is <laughs> going to be very very difficult to actually cultivate that healthy self-respect for yourself there's no long cap about it so number five on the list is invest and treat yourself very well you're all you got know where to be at the right time yes and number six stop entertaining gossip yes stop entertaining gossiping since you said you don't do the same you know because i feel you attract your kind if if i don't entertain gossip there's no way you're gonna bring it anywhere close to me you know right so and down to number seven always weigh your words like check and balance on a scale when one side is heavier it's down the other side that is it's not balance but if it's like you know check and balance whenever you want to spill something swallow it and actually ask yourself if i were in this person's shoes how will i feel you know a lot of you just spill out things and you just hurt people and cause people problems pain even with if you can even kill people with your words you don't know it's not by when you kill them when you shoot them by saying evil things or making someone lose it an opportunity because of your loud mouth and whatever you have killed that person you know so learn to weigh your words before you spill them out yes and down to number eight be yourself always dress well wear what you have don't go extra miles to be impressing us on instagram no. <laughs> um, we we know behind the scenes is not funny me i know i can call I am an adult and I know as it is right now to be an adult. It's not easy. Let nobody fool you, okay? Because our will just be in your comment section and say, wow, wow, nice dress, nice this. Talk about love work with Selitori Instagram. Oh, no more. <laughs> and nobody should please correct my remember. One of all, no understand them. Down to number nine is speak up when you're maltreated. Please don't shut up speak up when you're maltreated i like the fact that okay i have a lady who comes around to help me do some stuff so today she came around and it was so sad to hear that her husband is give her blow punches because when she came she was looking down and it's on like her she always leaves me leave my spirit up whenever she comes to help me clean the house okay at the long run summary of it all is i was so glad she was smart enough she don't, you don't have to go to school before you know these things she went to the human rights whatever to report her husband and that is the right thing to do you know so please then uh, speak up speak up a lot of people has lost their they have actually lost their lives because they have been treated awfully it's not only when it's actually a physical combat some people have been have actually felt bad due to what you've said to them you've talked them down with your words so please speak up when you're maltreated speak up and yes 
and down to number 10 avoid relationship where you will be treated like your cheap material and you are not valued this is self explanatory of course so down to number 11 avoid hanging around with useless people who are not your type when they say who are not your type I mean, if you want, if you must grow, you have to pick a higher cycle. I hope you know what that means. You can't be around foolish people and expect yourself to grow in any area of your life. In sense, you would you would be going down drastically. In everything you find yourself, as long as these people do not add value to your life, then you are not meant to be in that cycle. This is it. Down to number twelve. Always give. And respect people do you understand it doesn't cost anything i know i know human being can be annoying people tend to push you you know especially in fact people tend they will push you they will push you and you know sometimes it's okay to react when you have gotten it up to here it's okay but it won't really cost you anything to give people respect this is one important thing that also attracts respect to an individual so down to number 13 don't let other people's opinion about you control you or control how you feel or control how you go about your life or what you choose to do about yourself and whatever decision you want to make don't let your opinion matter okay because whenever you look in the mirror what do you see your reflection not theirs so it's only your opinion that matters, not others. So, and down to number 14 on the list is treat people exactly the way they deserve. You don't need to go as your mouth. Don't do things, you know. This is my opinion, though. If you, I just feel, if you love God, you know how to love a human. Yes, I am not ashamed to say I love God. In fact, I'd fuck with him heavily. That is why, to me, humanity comes first. So... It's just like yin yang of course you give me i give to you so treat people how they truly deserve and how you want to be treated of course so down to number 15 avoid arguments avoid arguments especially in public most of you like to argue most of you like to form lawyers you know sometimes it's not about you being right it's about saving yourself some sort of embarrassment you sometimes it's okay to allow a foolish man just have his opinion yeah you're right it saves you from embarrassment okay so if a man is going to know a thing he's going to know it and later on respect you for telling him the actual thing he was actually arguing so Olga, you don't need it especially in public let it go okay so it is very impossible for anyone or people to disrespect you when you respect yourself hola hola <laughs> i hope you find this helpful tell me in the comment section what you think about this episode i still remain your favorite guest is Tony. if you have forgotten we got a youtube page please kindly subscribe to the youtube page and also visit the website www.sisterscafe.com with the double f e dot com for everything good and trendy mm -hmm. yo I'm going to see you guys when I see you. I'm in the comment section. All right, guys. Mm-hmm.